Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. In our previous Meta Business Suite videos, we showed you not only how to access the inbox section, but how to use all the tools and features available to you within this platform. Today, we're changing focus a little bit, showing you how to set up your very first ad here in the Meta Business Suite. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the Facebook and Instagram tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in the homepage of the Meta Business Suite. And the first thing that you wanna do is look for that Create Ad button. It's up at the top of the Meta Business Suite homepage next to the Create a Post. Once you have clicked on it, you will have a number of different goal objectives that you can choose from when creating your ad. There are a lot of different options and the simplest way to look at it is to identify first what your ultimate goal is with advertising on the platform. Are you looking to get more awareness, in which case promoting your page or getting more website visitors might be the best option? Or are you looking to go down straight to the meat and potatoes? Do you wanna get more purchases or more leads? In this example today, I want to get more leads. So let's click on the get more leads option and move forward from there. The first option that you will have is you need to identify where do you want to collect the information. In this example, let's say we want to collect it on Facebook. Simply hover your mouse over the on Facebook section and give it a click. Excellent. Now what you can see is that there are a lot of different things that have just appeared out of nowhere. The first thing is the contact form which we are going to use. Simply hover your mouse over create new form and this is then going to bring up the opportunity for you to create a form to collect information from potential customers who are starting out as leads. Give the form a appropriate name so that it is easy to identify. We then want to look at what sort of information is going to be important to us as a business owner and marketer looking to get more leads. So right now you can see in the preview section here, the form has got the full name and the email address. I think adding the phone number, job title, company name is going to be essential to getting the right information so that we can decide whether or not person who has filled in the form is going to be a good match. One thing you can do too is with your short answer questions, identify a particular question that can effectively filter out a person's suitability as a customer. So in this example, let's ask the question, how much do you spend on paid ads every month? And this will allow me to see whether this person is indeed a good prospect or whether it is a person who is probably better off going and working with someone else or learning how to run the ads themselves. Now you can see that short answer question has come up right at the start of the form. And once that's been done, we have got the next part, which is where they fill in their information. And after that, you've got the privacy policy. And of course, thanks, you're all set. So. Let's go down to the next section and click on next. Now the really cool part starts here. This is actually setting up the ad itself to generate more leads. So let's start with the description, which is the ad copy you will see at the top of the ad above the image or above the video, which is um, next under the media section. Now you can just see here, I have quickly added some new text into the description section, and that is now showing up above the image. Once you are happy with that, you can move on to the next section for the media. Now, there are a couple of different things to remember here. You can select multiple media, which will then show up as a multi-image carousel ad, 
or if you just want a single uh, image or video, you can just select edit options and then you can select choose image. This will then allow you to identify the image which you may have uploaded uh, into your media library. Or if you are not happy with any of those, you can always select upload here and you can find the right image which is going to suit your purpose in the ad. So let's select this one. And here you go. This is what the ad is now going to look like. And you can see we have got a great opening description or ad copy up at the top. We've got a nice image that we have swapped out with. And we also just want to find a nice headline, which is no longer than 25 characters, including spacing and punctuation. So let's go for something that is nice and simple. Paid advertising help. Fantastic. We go down to the next section, which is the call to action button. In the Meta Business Suite, this is called the button label, but don't be put off by that. It's the call to action. If you want to change it, simply select the drop down button next to the button label and change it to whatever is most suitable for you. Let's select get quote here. We want to ignore the advantage plus creative in here because it is going to confuse a lot of people, particularly those that are new. Just leave it turned off for now. Ignore the special ad category if you are just wanting to get more leads and your business is not related to any of these industries. And that brings us down to the audience section. What you want to do if you don't see anything here is scroll all the way down to the bottom and select create new. This will then allow you to create a new audience here in the Meta Business Suite and target the people who have interests and are of a certain age that might fit into your target or ideal customer. So in this example, I'm wanting to go after established business owners who are over the ages of 32 and I've just held my mouse down and pulled this <coughs> across to the point where I am happy. I want to target people who are based throughout New Zealand, so I'm going to enter New Zealand as the target location. And that is then going to highlight the country and area which you are doing business in and wanting to target. If we scroll down to the next section, we can now begin to narrow down our target audience based on behavior, job titles, or interests. So let's go after small business owners and select that one and you can always click on the browse button if you need some suggestions for finding the right targeting. We can see now that the target audience size is suitable between 65 and 75,000 people and all we need to do here is select save. Now that that's done we want to come down to the next section which is the schedule and duration. Now here, it is great to select an initial trial period, which is about 10 days and spend about $5 a day over that period. So you can see whether or not the ad is effective and reaching your right target audience. And important to note here that you can adjust the start time simply by clicking on the calendar icon and also the time icons here. You can also adjust the time period in which your ad runs up and down over here on the right hand side with the up and down arrows and you can also choose the end date as well if you want to run it for a longer period of time. Now we come down to the other fun part which is the placements. This allows you to choose where your ads show up. Facebook, Instagram, or Messenger. Let's say in this example, we only want it to show up on Facebook and Instagram. So let's uncheck Messenger simply by clicking on it. If you want to re-add it in at a later point, you can always click on Messenger and the icon with a tick will reappear. Finally, you just want to add in your payment method. You can use PayPal, credit card, or one of the other options available. And once all of that has been done, we can have a quick preview look 
at what our ad will look like. And there's something that's equally important to know, which is that as soon as someone clicks on the get quote um, call to action button there, that is when the form, which I showed you earlier on, is going to pop out and appear. So just remember that. They're not going to the website here. You're getting the information here on Facebook. And with all of that out the way, let's now push the Promote Now button. And congratulations, your ad has now been published. So that's all there is to it in order to set up your very first ad here in the Meta Business Suite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.